Hello, during this instructional video we'll show you amongst some other features how to program doors on the Hike Vision Access Control to automatically unlock. We'll also show you during this video of not only auto unlocking, for example 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, but also showing you how to unlock only if a staff member has arrived on site first, and also if the company wishes to close the business early how we can override the auto unlocking time with the use of a card. We can see from the status monitor screen we can select particular doors and from here we can manually lock and unlock doors. So we can manually unlock it, manually lock it again. But let's have a look how we can set it to automatically unlock, for example unlock the front door at set times. To do this we do it in the access control module. So we click access control and then we go down to advanced functions. We select advanced functions and we can then see our various controllers that we have on the system. In this case we're going to control the door one on the access demo case. So if we expand that controller we can see the four doors associated with that controller, obviously being a four door controller. I select door one which is the door that we want to automatically open, which is the front door in this case. In that options we can first of all see magnetic door contact. So if you've got a read switch on the door to monitor the door, we can program it from this part of the system. We can program it if it's a normally open or normally closed in this case. The exit button, if there's an exit button on this particular door, we can again program it from normally open or normally closed. Of course these functions don't have anything to do with, with the auto unlock times. We're just showing you while we're here. We can also program the door unlock time. This is when a card's presented, how long the door is going to stay unlocked for before it relocks. The next option down is door open time, when a card is presented by a person who's been tagged as a disabled person. In this example, it's going to unlock for 15 seconds, where a normal card holder of not disabled person will unlock for 5 seconds. The next option under this is the door open timeout. This is how long a door can be open for before it generates a door open too long event. Of course this option of monitoring a door open too long event will only occur if we've got a read switch or door monitoring on the door. The next option we'll quickly mention before we get into the auto unlocking is enable the door to be locked when the door is closed. So regardless of how long the door is programmed to unlock when a card is presented, if we have this select this option selected and we have a read switch on the door, as soon as the door is closed the door will relock straight away. And the option to program to automatically unlock is this status duration settings. When we click on this it opens up a time window where we can set times of when we want it to automatically unlock. So if we want this door to automatically unlock between 9 o'clock and 5 o'clock Monday to Friday, first thing we do is we just click within the time window of around about 9 o'clock on the Monday and then we're holding the mouse down we just slide across to 5 o'clock. So we drag across up to 5 o'clock and then we let it go. And once we do that, that'll be approximate time. If we click on it we'll see well that wasn't a bad guess at 9 o'clock. We can then go and filter it more accurately to say 1700 hours. We then click on OK which locks it in 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. It's Monday only. We can copy it to the whole week and that'll copy it every day. But if we only want Monday to Friday we can then click on Saturday and delete that duration. Click on Sunday and do the same, delete it. So we're only keeping the Monday to Friday. So now we've got Monday to Friday, 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and then we can hit the save button. Once this is saved, if the time is between that program period, example 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock Monday to Friday, the door will automatically unlock. And we can check this, if we go to status monitor, we can see that the door is programmed and is automatically unlocked at this moment. We can distinguish the difference between a open and remain open. You'll notice the green arrow which is identifying the um, remain open. If it was just open, for example let's open the sales door or if a card was presented there it just shows the door open without that green arrow. 
The green arrow identifies that it is going to open and remain open for that period of time, in other words auto unlocked until the time expires. At this stage it's also worth mentioning the remain closed. If you were to select on a door and click remain closed, this will then lock out or lock down that door so no one can gain access and it won't auto unlock etc. So it's a good idea to use this remain closed with caution. Now that we've got the door to automatically unlock and relock between set times, let's look at some other criteria around that that may cause issues, such as when a customer forgets that it's a public holiday and didn't put the public holiday in, or situations where maybe the staff members are running late and the doors aren't told to unlock at 9 o'clock, but staff members don't arrive till 10 past, quarter past, half past 9 for example. So to program these overriding factors, we go back to access control and there's an option up the top there with a tab, open door with first card. When we click on this, it has two major features to this function. On the left hand side, we'll see our controllers and then in the middle of the screen here, we can see each of the four doors associated with that controller. Now in our instance, it was door one on the demo access case that we want to program or we had programmed to automatically unlock and within there we've got some options at the moment it's disabled remain open with first card if I enable that remain open with first card for that door only it then can do two different things Now the first thing you notice just to the right hand side of where we enabled this there's an option remain open duration in minutes and it's defaulted at 10 minutes. This only is valid if we add a first card list. So on the first example we're not going to add a first card list so therefore that time is irrelevant. Now once we enable this feature but we don't add a card to the first card list as we've shown on the screen here then it maps that door we've enabled to the auto unlock time for that door. So before automatically unlocking that door at the program times, it then goes and checks if a card has been used at that door, in other words a staff member is on site, before it auto unlocks. So on our example where we had the door programmed to unlock at 9 in the morning and relock at 5 o'clock at night, with this option enabled, the remain open with first card, is that it waits until a card has been presented at that reader after midnight before it will unlock. The same for relocking. If we want to go home early or relock, then you badge your card at that reader three times within the five second period and it will override the auto unlocking time and will automatically lock the door. So if the door is programmed to relock at five o'clock at night, two o'clock in the afternoon for example I can badge my card three times at this particular door within five seconds and it will override the auto unlock time and relocks the door. So let's have a look at that working in real time. If we go back to our status monitor screen so within the status monitor we can see that the door currently is automatically unlocked. Then with the assistance of modern technology I'll overlay the card swiping record over the top of this screen so we can see events coming through. So now in the foreground we'll be able to see events as I present the card and the background we had to change. So if I badge my card once, twice, three times within five seconds we can then see in the background the door lock. If I badge my card one additional time now and we can now see that the door will automatically unlock again. This is how we program doors to automatically unlock and relock between set times, but also with the addition option where you can program it not to unlock unless someone was on site. I hope you found this informative and please remember to check out other videos in the series on how to program the access controller. Thank you.